This is a bowline with a retraced bite. So this knot is useful because you can use it to anchor the rope and create an anchor for your uh, pulley system or your descent control device or whatever you need. So you start off taking the end of your rope, put it around your anchor and give yourself enough room that you can finish tying a bowline with a bite instead of the, the tail end. Okay, so you have enough rope to finish the knot and now you proceed to make your loop where the top is facing the anchor and you can either tie it this way or you can do it the easier way which is doing a snap bowline so you take that loop and you roll it forward over the, the um, standing end of the rope and you create this slip knot once you pull on this it'll slip and roll over and it'll create your bowline for you so this is called the uh, snap bowline variation so create your snapping method. Now you take the bite of rope, pull it through, and hold it back on itself. And then all you gotta do is pull on this strand and it snaps down over those sections of rope and it creates your bowline like that. Now you don't need all this wasted rope so you can adjust it. Give yourself more rope to work with that's one benefit of the bowline. So now to create your anchor system for your device you take this bite strand and bring it into the middle wrap it around the outside and you follow this strand all the way out so it's all facing forward. Wrap it around pull it through So now you can take this and clean it up, loosen it up a little bit, take this strand, wrap it around so that everything is dressed nice and neat. So now you can see you have three parallel strands that are going completely around and through this bite of rope through facing forward. So now you have the rope anchored off and you have a becket that you can clip into and you can clip your descent control device into, your, your pulley system into and you can also use this to do a tensioning system with just rope and carabiners which is what is uh, useful to use when you're trying to do a tensioned guy for the Arizona Vortex. So you make a loop clip it through, you take your other carabiner, clip it through, and then you can run that out, clip it into whatever you need to, to tension to, and then you can haul, you have a nice hauling system, it's hauling to a disadvantage because these pulleys are, are uh, only 50% efficient as a pulley, these carabiners are, so you can haul and then once you've tensioned it tight enough you can capture progress by having guys seize and twist while one guy takes the end and he pulls a bite through making a slip half hitch and then another half hitch and that's called dogging it off tightening that down nice and tight and now you've dogged off your tensioning system with a slip half hitch and it's real easy to untie even under a lot of a lot of weight a lot of tension so you can extend that out as far as you need to go clip it into whatever you need to tension and then you can pull tension it up and you can either dog it off over here or you can dog it off on the other end. It might be better to dog it off over here to keep all the rest of this rope out of the way. So that is a tensioning guying system. Dogging it off by using a slip half hitch. Pull that through, cinch it down, and then do another half hitch. 
like so. Cinch that all down, make it nice and neat. And now it's tensioned, anchored off, all using the, the bowline with a retraced bite and the remainder of your rope.